Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Today's the day. Today's the day we call a duck a duck. Today's the day when we stop pretending like we are all okay and wipe that fake face plastered smile off our faces that lies to everyone that we are doing just fine. On Good Friday, we witnessed the truth that we try and hide in this world, that everything is broken and that we indeed need saving. Today's the day we witness the truth in this world that everything can go wrong. The Savior of the world, Jesus Christ, is hung on the cross, and as his disciples, we have to face it. Today's the day we face the truth. Nobody, and I mean nobody, has the perfect life like Facebook and other social media wants us to believe. And keeping up with the Joneses, who seem to have their lives put together, is a waste of time. It is all a lie. That perfect life that others seem to have does not exist. We are all broken. All of us hiding behind masks in our fear of a world that has hurt us too many times before. And today is the day when we admit that we are hiding what we are all going through inside. Storms raging. Every one of us is fighting our own battles. And we enjoy lying when someone asks, how are you? They don't really want to know, and I don't really want to admit the truth. The masks that we have artistically and carefully created to hide our pain hurts us. And today is the day that we recognize that they are tricks from the devil to hide us from a world that is filled with Jesus' presence just looking for someone who needs help. We pretend like it's a life jacket, that mask, a coping mechanism of hiding what we are going through. But sadly, it is a millstone that continues to drag us down. That mask is hiding you and me from the help we desperately need. This world really stinks sometimes. All of us experience that truth, and many of us might argue that it's really most of the time. Jesus dying today emphasizes this truth. Today is the day that we can't escape it. Even the mask of evil is pulled off today. And yet, empowered by God, we are here to face this truth. The truth that sin has overwhelmed us all. The truth that our hopes and plans can be dashed in a second. A simple phone call, a bad diagnosis can strip away any and all joy we have tried to muster up just to get by. Today's the day. It went all wrong. Today is the day that we call it how we see it, as the theology of the cross teaches us. And yet despite this dark truth of the deep presence of sin and death and pain and suffering in each of us, the bigger picture is that God is still at work in our lives and there is good news ahead of us, only days away even, maybe just a few, maybe even just three. On Easter morning, with God's victory over sin and death. We will hold fast to the joy that God can take all that brokenness and sin and pain and death in our lives and turn it on its head. The cross is our proof in this, that little symbol of hope that you may keep on a chain around your neck. Because in that cross, God takes the most shameful and sinful symbol of pain and suffering and reworks it to be a symbol of hope for all of us who today face the hard truths of living life in a broken world. Today is the day that we cling to the cross of Jesus Christ and shout the truth out into this world that it is broken, but that God is not done with us yet and that redemption is at hand. That it might look 
like God is dead on some days. But we know the truth. Today is the day that our hope lingers just below the surface, behind a heavy rock that no one person can move. And for the next few days, we are supposed to be sad, mourning, and let that pain wash over us. We are supposed to face the truth that Jesus, our only hope, died, and that the stench is already starting to grow. Today's the day that Jesus has lifted the mask of this world, and it is an ugly sight, an ugly truth that we see. But from this low point, from the base of the cross, from the grave itself, we learn as Christians from where our hope will come. It will come in the dark of night, when the world flips in God's salvation, those deepest, darkest valleys will become the mountaintops where the light is inescapable. Through the pain and suffering and the death, we are traveling to a future where everything, absolutely everything, will be redeemed and restored, where God's good will for us is all that anybody experiences. But the truth is, we are not there yet. It is not Easter morning today. And that fake face painted on our faces is still a lie. This world is still broken in so many ways. What we hope for is not here yet. There is a lie out there that tells us that being Christians means we get to escape the pain and suffering of this world. We get to skip the Good Fridays of life. But the words and teachings of the Bible respect us more than that. The Bible calls a duck a duck. The pain and suffering are all too real. They don't teach us to pretend put a fake face on in this world, too. But what they do teach us is what we hold up in worship today, and this is what really matters. In Christ Jesus, God came to suffer with us. As those nails penetrated all the way through his hands, so God's presence penetrates into our difficult and painful lives. This is the surprise, as big as Easter morning. God is with us in all that brokenness, all of the brokenness in each of our lives. Today is the day that we hope in the cross. And because we have faith that Jesus suffers with us always, we suffer with him today. We leave worship today in sadness as we face this truth, wiping that fake face away, ready to mourn together in this broken world and hope for the resurrection dawn, which we pray will only be days away. Amen.